guys. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Welcome to another Aquarius Tarot Reading. Aquarius love Tarot Reading. Aquarius love Reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Aquarius love messages channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. I want to take a look at the energy coming in. It's the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Look, it's kind of presenting in reverse for me. Somebody trying to work up, I want to say, the confidence to come here and be honest with you. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Leo energy. Queen of Swords. Libra, ruled by Venus. A transactional energy here, clarity, communication, and hopefully truth. Queen of Swords is my protege to justice. Also Libra and Venus energy. And justice is connected to the heart chakra. That movement in the Queen of Wands, they're trying to yeah, get it together come here and be honest with you what is that about and what else is coming in with that you know is that it let's see this is a, I'm actually just going to move it a little bit more here I'm hearing that I need to go like I need to <laughs> begin so I just want to remind you that it's a timeless reading it's a general tarot reading always take what resonates and let the rest go all the playlists are linked in the description Aquarius, your zodiac readings, all 12 zodiac signs, all signs tarot readings, twin flame readings if you're on a twin flame journey, and a lot more. So feel free to explore. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. I hope. Whoa. What is this truth about? Is it feelings? The Two of Cups? Venus and Cancer energy. Because obviously this person still has feelings for you. You still have feelings for each other. Is there a decision being made? Is there an offer? It's a little bit early to tell. There's the apology. Okay. It's a sincere apology. Is this more than an apology? Well, they want to get out of this no contact, no communication energy. And I feel like more than anything, well, yeah, three of swords in reverse, more Libra energy, by the way, Saturn and Libra. Coming here with the four of wands in reverse, Venus and Aries energy. So there was some discord here, some kind of arguing. It could even be that somebody literally moved out. Should that be the case, you know, if this is more around along the lines of communication. It's very easy that somebody could have walked away or just hung up a phone, didn't respond to a message. So the Ten of Wands in reverse, this is a, a lightening up energy. It's a freeing energy. This person really wants to apologize to you. And I'm wondering if that truth is here, that they still have feelings for you. Jupiter and Sagittarius energy are Ten of Wands. Page of Swords, holding on to the truth, watching. World card, oh yeah, world card in reverse. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, you're also here in this energy. So this is not finished, but I want to tell you something that is really clear here too. The apology is a long time coming, and we could also be looking at something here like next level, maybe even marriage, and something went down there. I'll tell you what, they're holding on to this truth, though. We saw that in our Queen of Swords coming in, that they are trying to get the confidence to come in with the truth, the Queen of Wands in reverse coming with it. But we can see our page is still holding on to it, sort of studying it, trying to figure out. They're talking to other people. They may even be looking in if you're connected via other people or social media, but I don't feel like you're talking yet. They're wanting to look at this Six of Pentacles, reciprocal energy. It's connecting here with the apology. It's 
pretty sincere, I gotta tell you. Six of Pentacles, Moon, and Taurus. You can see it's coming out of the Five of Pentacles, Mercury, and Taurus, and that's an energy of loss. Not communicating here. Really strong for me that this is the, the no communication, and this is somebody who's not liking that, who's not feeling very good about it. Here. This is an apology that they're handing you. And is there something more? Is this more than an apology? I mean, it's the pentacles. Commitment, potentially contracts, relationships, partnerships. But what they're handing here very clearly is an apology and it's the truth. And yeah, I think there might be more than an apology here. But it's connected right to our Four of Wands in reverse. So definitely some kind of discord, some arguing having gone on. You can, I mean, this is also really clear that somebody may have moved out, moved away, walked away. It's not finished. Is there something else here that's not finished? Well, again, could there be another level you are working toward? Because this can be around some pretty big life-changing decisions, including marriage, which can oftentimes be connected to the Two of Cups. And the Four of Wands can be considered a marriage card, you could say. So Three of Swords in reverse, Four of Wands in reverse. For some of you, maybe there was already a legal contract. There's definitely discord here. And a walking away, moving away, strong energy. Yet, here are their feelings. Here's the truth of how they still feel that they're holding on to, that they're wanting to bring to you. The Hermit in reverse, the Seven of Wands. How are you feeling about that? Seven of Wands, Mars, and Leo energy. It's sort of like, just wait a minute. Because here they come, look, with the Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo, and that's getting your attention. If you can see this person, it's like walking over to you. Finally, not just talking to other people, you know. Again, it could also be a message, but it's it's a strong energy if you can see them that it's at some kind of an event, like there's other people around. And I want to also say, you know, not in a selfish way, maybe. It's not really clear, but unburdening, you know, wanting to apologize. Ten of Wands in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse. That was coming in really clear and be honest. And the Hermit, Virgo and Mercury energy, this is where you go for clarity, personal truth, spiritual illumination. And actually, when you get out of the Hermit, you go into the Wheel of Fortune, turning point. You're in that energy, Aquarius, as well as Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. And the Wheel of Fortune is connected to the throat chakra, I speak. Yeah, and we're not quite there yet because there's a stuck energy here. You're not wanting to be hurt, make any mistakes. This person is also talking to other people. I feel like getting advice so they don't say or do the wrong thing maybe again. Because that's a pretty stuck energy and it's a really, it's a strong validation that you actually miss each other. But you're not talking. You're like separated, you know, and it's just been going on for too long. You don't generally stay in there for so long. But they're definitely thinking about all the mistakes that they made, the past mistakes. Look at this. Hmm. Three of Cups in reverse. Ten of, of Cups in the upright. So Three of Cups in reverse, Four of Wands in reverse. Really strong validation that if you were communicating around other people, that's kind of where things went down. It could even be this person has a... You could say a connection to a vice. Maybe it was over-consuming, particularly at a celebration, and something didn't go very well. Three of Cups, by the way, is Mercury and Cancer energy. And there's generally, I'm feeling here today, there were other people either around or just kind of involved somehow in the connection, you know? This is a pretty strong validation for me. Ten of Cups, Three of Cups in reverse, or of Wands, that there are some connections to people that you both know. You know, whether it's within your connection, your your little family or your partnership, or just extended other people, friends or family. This didn't go very well. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It could have led to 
breakup energy, separation, going into no contact, or it could have played a part in it. But it's, de it's definitely playing a part, whether it led to it or not. Obviously, you're going to know that, which is why there is a self-defensive energy in the Seven of Wands. It's like, just wait a minute. Things are still kind of emotional, despite the feelings. And why they're also looking back, looking a little freaked out, <laughs> or our owl here. Which is interesting with the deck today, Aquarius, because owls are Scorpios and they can hold back emotions. They hide them. There's a lot of them. They're deep. And this person is holding back the truth, holding on to the sword, like backing away, you know, talking to other people. Here again, if this is at an event, it's like they're literally talking to them while you're there, maybe somewhere. You're both in separate places. Again, I know it's not for everybody that... You can see each other. The other question is, or question, or should I say, what we're seeing here, two of cups, 10 of cups, had you built a life together that came apart? Because something obviously came apart. Were you building it? Was it on the table? Is there something here they're apologizing for too that perhaps you, there was discord around that they have a decision they are afraid to make? Something like perhaps a move across city, state, country, relocation, maybe even the world, you know, like immigration energy. Away from another contract, work, housing situation, you know, perhaps other people. But this is here on the table, so it's back on the, it's on the table. And you could say if you were in this energy, because obviously something went down here, they're offering this very clear apology and it feels to me like it's somebody who wants to work this out and this is like back on the table energy this is a new cycle regardless in our ten of cups mars and pisces energy a lot of hopeful energy here in our rainbow of course we could be including littles here but family is going to be different a different take on a different meaning for everybody you know could be little fur babies too but we could also be looking at things like going exclusive, introducing to families, blending families. There's that six of wands. And here is that lack of confidence around the communication around either coming up to you, picking up the phone, sending the message, which ultimately I feel will be going on. It's excuse me, it's just a matter of getting the confidence because this is somebody who's kind of pulling back a little bit. It's a lack of confidence energy. So again, if you can see them, it's like walking. It's like standing back and watching and trying to build up the confidence to come over and talk to you. If you can't see them, it's still that energy to get out of this no contact and send the message or write the message or make the call, whatever. Wow. The lover's card. So there's definitely something more than an apology on the table here, Aquarius. There is a decision to be made. Clearly you love each other. Look in the Ten of Cups here between you. The Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the lover's card. Gemini energy, Venus, the planet of love. This is Archangel Raphael, the angel for healing. Just wants to heal what's broken. The lover's card connected, of course, to the heart chakra, I love. Archangel Raphael as well, but also to the throat chakra, I speak, I love you, I still love you. And this is still here for me. This is the hope. A new cycle. Again, what does this mean for you? Coming back into that, continuing to build it, or going back to where you were, you know, or putting it back on the table, I should say. Are they coming in here with more than an apology? Yes. Is there some kind of offer here? Yes. It's a matter of how that's coming in. If it's just kind of naturally, you could say playing out by, by communicating, by receiving this apology for how oh, that just disappeared. For some of you very clearly in person, they're really trying to Hide some energy today. The death card is here. Don't worry about this. So here's here's what's going on with the death card for me today. 
Scorpio energy. This is around changes, endings, but also beginnings, transformations. Look where it wants to be. So there's a couple of things going on here. It's with our Three of Swords in reverse. So it is getting out of ego and shadow here, this ego shadow energy to make this apology. They're definitely in a lack of confidence energy. So I don't know if something specific was said, you know, that they, they can't really take back, but they need to take responsibility for and apologize. Truths, we know that what they're holding on to. Again, if there is something going on in terms of vice energy that may have played a part in it. So there's a couple of things. This death card is really strongly connected to the death of their ego. This is somebody who I feel is coming in in a higher vibe. This is somebody who does want another chance and they are saying that they've changed. So I, I want to say to you, or changing, if this is a round of vice, it can very well be that this is something that's been playing a really big part in this what happened here, like kind of how everybody, how you got here. The other thing is it's connecting to the world card and reversed, reverse, excuse me. And that's a completion energy, you know, divine number, divine timing, communication. We know the lack of that. We know there's delays. Somebody's ready. Somebody's not. Somebody's available. Somebody's not. So it really is a matter of, it's, it's a life-changing energy of something that, a decision that this person was not making, wasn't ready to make, that they're ready, that they're getting ready, you could say, to make now. But it's not quite complete yet. It's here connecting with the death card. So whether that's a move, leaving behind a place of residence, a city, state, maybe even a country, we could be looking at immigration kind of energy there. Or there are other contracts with work, perhaps even people, things, other things here that need to be completed first. It's really strongly connecting to something I feel like that they're saying that they've changed. Again, that could also just be something personal in their life. We could be looking at an alignment between the both of you needing to change some things that are just not finished yet before you can move forward in this energy together. Look how it's forming a triangle, the love, lover's card, the two of cups, and the ten of cups. And of course, it goes without saying, working out the issues that you need to work out together and decisions that you need to make together in order to move forward. Because the world card is connected to the root chakra, and it's in reverse here, so it's not a centered energy, it's not a balanced energy. And when it's not aligned and balanced and centered, there there is fear, there's lack of communication, there's fear of making decisions, you know, in shadow, in ego, in fear, so also making wrong decisions. And what I like about the death card is it's a validation that, in fact, this person is getting out of the hangman energy where I feel they've been probably for too long, Pisces energy. It's been, I feel like, a really strong period of uncertainty here. This person has has been in some power struggles with ego, but also indecisive and not really making the moves. You know what I mean? And what needs to happen here is a paradigm shift, and it's connected to this death card. So it's telling me that they're moving into that. We can see how they feel, what they want, what their intentions are. It is definitely a matter of timing, and should there be an event coming up soon? Again, or perhaps, yeah, a phone call or reaching out kind of energy here. Something needing to end, ego, perhaps a vice, and perhaps something else in order for this to go back on, get back on track or go back there. Should that also be where you're at? what you're wanting to do. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It's completely connecting here with our Four of Wands in reverse and our Three of Swords. So wanting to, the apologies is really quite strong. Virgo and Mercury energy, and this is definitely the setbacks. Did somebody behave in a jealous way too? There might, there might be, that might be connected to kind of, you could say how things went down. 
but it's a validation for me of, of setbacks, really, of what happened here. And there is an apology connected, whoa, to it. Queen of Cups in reverse. Justice. The Knight of Wands. Oh, yeah, and Judgment. Wow. Wow. So I have to, I have, I would be remiss if I did not mention this Aquarius. So first of all, the Queen of Cups in reverse. You know, this is a really healing energy and cancer energy and I mean it's in reverse here and it's connecting with everything that's been going on so it really is a validation in particular with our nine of pentacles of things not being worked out yet you know it's just clear for me look what is here justice and judgment are both here and here's also the knight of wands on the move leo energy Owls are really, there are a few things they're really concerned about. Keeping predators away, food, <laughs> sustenance, and their owl person here. So we can see that's going on. They have something here that they're coming with. You know, this is just really clear for me that this is, and here, look at this reciprocal energy, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. It's connected to the apology, but this is more than an apology. There's a lot of truth here. And there is some kind of, again, when I say offer, and I, I use quotes because it's here, but it's a matter of, yeah, needing to, obviously needing to communicate. And the truth is one of the first things that came through with our Queen of Swords and our Queen of Wands in reverse trying to get the confidence to bring the truth to you and here it is and here is judgment too i want to mention that if there is some kind of karmic situation or energy it's clear that it could be on both sides or either or that there's still some things getting worked out but it's also really strong and i know it's going to be for someone but probably not for everyone that there may be some kind of energy around legal issues or vices or maybe even some trouble that somebody got into that they have changed their ways. Either way, coming in here with the truth, we saw our Queen of Swords, the protege to justice, and justice is here, Libra energy, Venus, the planet of love. Justice is connected to the heart chakra. This is the truth coming out. Cause and effect here with judgment. So this person is stepping up. They're taking accountability. And there may literally be some kind of things that are going on here in terms of judgment and legal stuff. You know, that's going to be really specific again. Fate, karmic law, spiritual justice, a decision. This is a master number. It's an 11. It's coming together. <laughs> a decision we talked about. And a new beginning. And here's the other thing. Where were you in this connection you know, were you one pentacle shy of the Ten of Pentacles? Had you already, were you already in a long-term partnership? Were you building it? Was it on the table? Wherever you were, something clearly happened here. But we do have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Lover's card here. And Justice coming in with a new beginning. And Judgment, Archangel Gabriel, practically screaming out, Wake up, make a decision. Get some clarity make a decision already like a final decision make a decision this is the lover here from the past how far back that goes will be really specific for you coming in here clearly Aquarius with reconciliation on their mind is this reconciliation for you obviously there is love here between you you love each other and there's a decision to be made between the two of you if you were already in some kind of legal connection, it could be that there is there's a finalization and there's decision that you're both making together. That's real specific. It's not for everybody. But I tell you what, how this person is coming in is with reconciliation and the apology that's been here from the start of your reading before the cards even came down on the table, because that's how it goes here at the tarot closet, is, is very much here, but it's exactly the energy that it's way more than an apology. They are asking for forgiveness. They want to be honest, clear, 
air everything out, you could say, kind of like shaking out a rug. This is the decision. Wake up, make a decision. Look at this. Two of Cups, Justice, and Judgment between the two of you. They're coming here with reciprocity. So I do have to say also, may not be for everyone, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention just even the Two of Cups, the Lovers, Justice, Ten of Cups, like Justice of the Peace kind of energy. So yeah, there could be some marriage energy here. A decision a question or a decision that you're making together. That much is really clear. Again, I don't think it's for everybody, but this is for everybody. What's going down of how they're coming in here, to be honest. The truth is, I, I'm i very, very sorry. The truth is, is that I do love you. And the truth is, I want to work this out. I have been afraid. I have been in shadow. I've been in ego and I've been in fear. And I do need... There are some things that, that are not complete yet for this to be able to move forward, but I want to work it out to you. And again, just the energy of it not being finished in life-changing decisions, perhaps marriage. It's like it's back on the table here. And here's that truth that they've been holding on to. Such a strong validation. And this, I got to tell you, this is also getting out of the fear of the decision of the future. So if this is just around somebody who's been afraid of commitment, afraid of the next level, afraid to move in or introduce families, afraid to move in together, get married, what? It's like getting out of the fear. It's make a decision or lose, possibly lose Aquarius. And whether that's deciding to go to the next level and or including changing and stopping something that is not good for anybody's highest good and making some changes for this to be possible, whatever it is, if it's A, B, and C or one of the above, it is a discussion and there is a decision here between two people who obviously love each other, but it is. It is, it is complicated, you know, that, that much is really clear. But the feelings are not that complicated. And again, look at this triangle that it's forming here. Just the way they're moving and they're just really steadfast staying in this position. I want to bring in some Oracle. I'm not reading it in reverse. Let's see if there's anything else. Whoa, <laughs> anything else coming in? Having hope. Yeah, I like this. Hope for clarity, hope for the truth, hope for the apology, hope, hope for things to get worked out either way, whether this is reconciliation or closure. It sure feels like reconciliation for everybody. Where you're at, you have free will. You know, everyone does. The future is not fixed energies, outcomes, they can, they will, they do change. So your decision is going to be your decision. But what I will say again is it's just really clear that there's a lot of feelings here. There is a lot of hopeful energy that this can be worked out. This person getting out of shadow, ego, and fear, because I know just being in love or still loving each other or having feelings isn't always enough, is it? They're definitely holding out hope here. Dreamer. So it's kind of connecting to some Pisces energy just around head in the clouds kind of energy. But I want to tell you also, this is somebody who's in a boat, you know, that we can't really tell if it's moving or not. I think it, it might be still. Either way, they're towering above the clouds here. Above, well, seeing their bad decisions, there's a perspective that they're getting. It's kind of like hangman energy as well. Getting over indecision, hangman energy. Holding on to some hope again here, the dreamer energy. Look, it's connecting to the Ten of Cups Pisces energy. 
of things working out. Humility, this is really big because it's just been coming through throughout your reading that it's obviously really necessary to make an apology, a really sincere apology, to get over your ego. Get out of shadow and fear and make the apology. And again, the fear of change. So there is a fear of change here. It's just a matter of, and they're getting out of that. For you, I feel like it's it could be any number of things. It could be all of them. But again, we could be looking at things like a move toward and away from something. Commitment. Other commitments. Connections to vices. Things that need to change in their life. Oh, <laughs> look. It's union. This is coming together. Yeah, union, two of cups. The lover's card, the ten of cups. This is somebody who has made a decision. Who definitely wants to take accountability. Who's getting out of fear. Who wants to either come back together and rebuild, continue building, or putting it back on the table. This is a coming together energy, obviously. It's right here with the Two of Cups. Wow. The voice. The communication. <sighs> the decision. Look, it's like upright at the world here as well. So it's, it's bringing in the... It's like King of Swords, Queen of Swords in many ways. And they're standing here on the world, which is upright at the world card. So a life, a decision, a conversation, like a life-changing conversation, life-changing decisions. The world card is a divine number, divine timing. And the thing is, the reversal energy around the fear and other things that are unfinished, including what's going on here between the two of you, we could be looking at, yeah, you could say with this upright energy, karmic debts paid or being paid, life lessons learned, completion, completing the learning process, obstacles removed or just about to be cleared so that you can move forward in the world card with the future in a centered, aligned root chakra energy, not afraid of that, not afraid of commitment, not afraid of leaving behaviors or lifestyles behind or things that no longer serve you. And moving in when you get out of the world card into that full energy, hoping for another chance, a new cycle. Another, yeah, a second chance energy is so strong here. Life-changing conversation decisions, definitely life-changing decisions going on. I kind of feel like from all angles here. Spiritual guidance, hope. Well, we have Archangel Raphael and Archangel Gabriel here. Of course, this is connecting us to the crown chakra. It's connecting us directly here to judgment. And the hangman energy, which has been coming in. It's also connecting us to the fool, the star energy, fate, stars aligning energy, spiritual connection, spirituality, the crown chakra, divine protection, and spiritual guidance, like being brought together. Wow. I mean, union is right here with the voice, with the conversation, you know. Again, whether it's to start at at an actual location, celebration, event, or via message to begin with. The last two coming through, Grounded and Storm. I kind of feel like it's here. So this is coming out of the storm and realizing that you made it through it. The lightning, the water, you know, could be connecting us, of course, to some tower energy, to some things that may have happened here, you know, around, obviously, you know, and somebody who's also just been so caught up in the fear, and then it's sort of like, okay, that storm has passed, I'm out of that fear now, this is over, and then you're, you're still, everything's okay, I'm still here, there's a grounded energy, the roots are still here, we still love each other, yeah, but there is, things went on here, think there's repairing for sure needed, could this be an indication, perhaps, of 
of some conversation that could get intense. Yeah, it definitely could. There's a conversation here between two people who love each other, but there are truths coming out. Somebody owning some, some bad behavior. So it definitely could could get and could get intense, emotionally intense. A lot of emotional energy here, and the connection between you is really strong. And look at the roots here, the grounded energy. You know, it's like the this is like the world again. The roots that are still here. All the elements, of course, are here. This connects very strongly with the root chakra. Again, it's uprighting this world card energy. I should say uprighting this world card energy again, being centered and aligned, grounded, grounded more clear, able to see the future, getting out of fear, taking accountability, making decisions. Wow. Okay, I want to bring in some channeled love messages. Actually, I think I want to bring in another deck here. Messages from their higher self. Then we're going to close your reading, Aquarius. Whoa, here we go. I will never have a connection like this again. So here with humility and grounded in the lover's card. So also the understanding of what this is. Understanding the connection. Look, I think we are soulmates. That's what that is. I will never have a connection like this again. Look, grounded, connected to the lovers. I think we are soulmates. I made a bad decision. Whoa. Yeah, it's right here with judgment. I have a song playlist for us, so that's something that they're wanting to bring in. I don't know, but I almost feel like they were trying to hide that in this one too. Showing emotional. I am so sorry I lied to you at the bottom of the deck. It was my fault. So they come in here also with an apology, this Knight of, of Wands. But there's way more than an apology here, that's been clear. Every road leads back to you. You are my person too. You are with me always. I made so many mistakes. It's right here with judgment. I made so many mistakes. Hmm. It's telepathic energy. Really strong connection when two people are emotionally connected. Your telepathic energy tends to be really strong. You have changed me for the better. Yeah, that's really, that's also really strong because they are coming in here saying they have. Not just changing to win you back. <laughs> also justice in the death card, but changing to win you back, but change that needed to be made. There's like no other way unless it is. I lay awake at night worrying about us. We are soulmates. Wow. So that's a really strong energy coming back in. You didn't deserve how badly I treated you. Right there with the storm missing you. I'm making a plan to come to you. Here with Dreamer. We're going to bring in some little ones and I'm <laughs> trying to keep it so it doesn't go flopping sideways, but I guess it doesn't really matter. The Tarot Closet Love Messages. More.
I have so many regrets. I could listen to your voice all day and night. Yes, I know you love me. Who's answering that? I dream of you right here with dreamer luck. I'm making a plan to come to you. You have changed me for the better. Is, here, is this here again? You have changed me for the better. Look. Is that a response? My world is dark without you. I am always with you. You are with me always. The last channeled love message, message from their higher self. Give me time. Beautiful Aquarius, that is your reading today. It's been my honor to channel for you as always. I think this is going to make me crazy. <laughs> I'm going to move it here. I appreciate you being here, watching, sharing, liking, subscribing to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you so much. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you light. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye Aquarius. Bye.